So what a disruptive mix doubles that was. I can tell you that there was 29 minutes of play. It wasn't a match that lasted 71 minutes, but then I suppose in uh, tennis with that marathon match at Wimbledon uh, with Isner and Mahu that went on for three days. It was timed at three days. Anyway, our next match is men's doubles and it features the European Championship bronze medalists uh, Christiansen and Dal Gort up against the current world number ones, Marcus Finaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. Well, as far as the men's doubles draw is concerned, with the Indonesians being the number two seeds, this is obviously the bottom half of the draw, and you can see that two quarterfinal places have been decided. Anga Pratama and uh, Ricky Karenda Suwadi, the number eight seeds from Indonesia, safely through, as indeed are the former world number ones, Lee Chun Hui and Liu Yu Chen. So we are concentrating on that match in the uh, bottom section of the draw there. And it is the number two seeds, Gideon and Sukamolio, up against Christiansen and Dalgo. see that they're leaving the lights on this time on the number one court I think that's very wise yeah. indeed so we await for the players of course the players that were waiting in the wings to come on to court in the men's doubles they wouldn't have known what time this was going to happen exactly and that's what I just heard that they said they were not ready to come on court um, they needed more time to warm up, so yeah. that's why it's been taking uh, even extra long time. But this must be surely the longest two-game match that has ever been played. <laughs> Goes down in the record books, I yeah. suppose. There we go. And I mean, I can understand the players because they, they had no idea when the lights was going to come on, so they can't be warming up for possibly 45 minutes. Uh, yeah. That's impossible. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, we were told that it was going to take another 10 minutes for the lights to be fixed, and then suddenly play resumed when we weren't expecting it. So, of course, the men's doubles players, their preparations disrupted as well. So here come the Danes, Matthias Christiansen and David Daugo. Well, we know that definitely there's two pairs from Denmark in the men's doubles quarterfinals. Can this pair make it? A third Danish pair. Well, they're up against it, against the current world number ones, uh, Marcus Fernaldi Gibnian and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. Now, in case you're wondering why they're only the number two seeds when I tell you that they're the current world number ones, the seeding was done for this tournament before they regained their world number one status. We gained that status on the 28th of last month. So this is their fourth consecutive week in this third spell as world well, number ones, the Indonesians. So the man nearest to us. There he is, Matthias Christiansen, 23-year-old from the island of Bornholm, which is in the Baltic Sea, just off the south coast of Sweden. And it's an island after which a heart condition is named, Bornholm's disease. His partner, David Dalgor, 
is 22 years of age, born in Copenhagen. And they have spent a total of 12 weeks, ranked number 19 in the world, across three different spells, down four places in the world ranking earlier today when it was published down to 24. And as far as they're concerned, in their first round, they beat Landsbus and Seidel of Germany in two straight games, 37 minutes for that match. Bronze medalists at the European Championships lost the semi-final to the eventual gold medalist, Bo and Mogensen, who are safely through to the quarter-final after a thrilling match just a moment ago. Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, 26 years of age, born in Jakarta. And he has been in nine Super Series tournament finals, winning eight of them. One with former partner, Marcus Kido. Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio is just 22 years of age, uh, born in uh, Banyuwangi, which is the easternmost end of Java. Serves as a port between Java and the island of Bali. And they are playing their second Denmark Open. They were quarter finalists last year when they lost to Usara and Puan Puapet, who lost in the final. And they, in their first round, beat the semi finalists from the Korean Super Series, Hoki and Kobayashi, in three games. This will be the first meeting between these two pairs. And it's a big, big occasion for the Danes. They've never progressed beyond a second round of a Super Series tournament. So looking to reach their first ever Super Series quarter final. So there, Fine Datan of India are on par for this one. And Ika Venio from Finland, our service judge. So the players being given a little extra time to warm up, given the fact that there was all that disruption with the lighting issue for the mixed doubles. Now, interesting that both these pairs last year lost to the same pairing of Isara and Puang Puapet. The Danes lost in the second round, and the Indonesians lost to that pair from Thailand in the quarter-final stage. But this would be a huge result for the Danes team if they were to manage to win this. Yeah, th that would be an amazing result. Um, here, as we see the referee on court again, I think there's some blood left over on the court. And the players, they alerted the umpire to that. Yeah, the Danes are, of course, the um, the youngest pairing in the um, Danish national team. They played as um, youngsters coming up through the uh, junior ages uh, together. Um, I'm a little uncertain on um, the form of David Dalgo because he's been uh, nursing a knee injury uh, recently. Didn't go to the... Um, Korea and, and uh, Japan Super Series. But sometimes, sometimes you just play a little bit more freely than uh, Yeah. And also, I mean, this kind of um, interruption in, in normal um, order of play, who, who handles that best? That's, that's going to be really interesting to see. Yeah. And and also the, David, 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 that, please. the case that Matthias Christensen is um, Thank you. now focusing, he's got a, a mixed doubles partner which is supposed to or presumed to be the best Danish mixed doubles, so Ready? he's suddenly Marcus? become um, alerted Ready, to another category, maybe that Ready? could um, either gentlemen. free him up a little right. bit and make David him play Dunkan really well here, or the opposite. Denmark. And on my left, Marcus Fernali Glidion and Kevin Sanjay Sugamuljo, Indonesia. Kevin Sanjay Sugamuljo to serve to David Doggart, Love All, 
play. Tower. So it's over. One low. Just long. So it's over. One oh. Had an extraordinary year so far. Gideon and Sukumolio. Five Two, finals, all five one. Super Series events, won four titles, all England championships, India Super Series, Malaysia Super Series, Japan, and then beaten in the final of Korea. Yeah, by Bo and uh, Mogensen, and, yeah. and also lost to them in the Sudirman Cup. So you would expect so that the so Danish uh, team, oh. they have the recipe of uh, beating uh, Gideon and, um, and Sukumolio. But the problem is that these two men in the picture here, David Dalgo and Matthias Christensen, they cannot play at all. Uh, the same playing style as Bourne Morrison are playing when they're beating the Indonesians, so they can only so use over. bits and pieces Three, of that go. overall game plan. Well, just explain that a little bit more, Steen. Uh, they they don't have the skills to play no. in the same way, or or they're just exactly. natural style. The the the, um, the natural style is different, and they also don't have the, in my opinion, Four, the defensive go. skills, the service situation skills, to put that pressure on uh, Marcus Gideon that Bowen Morgan's are doing when they play them they they target Gideon a lot and uh, I don't think the Danes can play a Five, um, two. patient or even a little bit passive playing style targeting uh, this man here in the picture oh. so we Three, five. So it's over. Six, three. So long, four, six. So we saw one, seven, four. Of course, the change um, compared to previous years' playing conditions here in um, Ordensa is not uh, exactly uh, good news for the Danes because we know that um, Sukumulio and Gideon they are very, very uh, skilled in playing in uh, windy conditions. Sort of makes the court a little bit um, smaller. And, uh, Especially Sukumolius, very, very uh, skillful and uh, strong net game. It's helping him in these situations and also their Nine, speed of movement. Four. Kevin, Kevin. David. Look, look, look. Play. Yeah. Oh, no. My goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> My heart missed a beat there, <laughs> Steen. <laughs> I thought we were being plunged into darkness again. Yeah. Yeah, it's good judgment. Play. 
Let's that go well wide. Out. Service over. Ten. Five. Oi, great save. Oh, Another. my goodness. Well, that's <laughs> unbelievable. How on earth did he keep that one going? Extraordinary. Look at that. And again. We have a high height on the lift when we lift him. Especially when Kevin is behind the flat there. He can also spring in. No, no, come on. What's he doing? I just don't believe it. When he's down on the floor, floor to get that back. Og så kommer op lige på på lige kommer op og hakker til den et par gange her. Nu vi på kort. He gives everything on the last one there. Hvor holdt passe på ham. Brilliant. Ja, ja. Og vi skal også, vi skal kunne stå defen ind med dem. Vi skal kunne have overspillet, hvor vi står defen bagefter. Good one, twenty seconds. What was the advice there, Steve? Yeah, it, it seems like they're trying to play that uh, Bowen Mogensen um, style tactic that they want to lift high. And of course, with some amendments uh, tailored to, to that specific pair, but a, a good idea uh, is to lift high so they can't jump into the uh, smashes, the two really, really fast Indonesians. John, well, five. Good placement there. Some good actions from uh, David Dalgo, uh, challenging uh, the Sukumulu in the flat game. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned that it might be one of those one out of ten um, situations where you get some confidence from one rally, but it actually just means that you're going to lose so a whole lot of the next ones. 13, because you six. try the same that you originally should refrain from. That's a nice rally from the Danes. Yes. Positive, but nice variation. So yeah. it's over. 7 13. And the, the problem or the concern for the Danes must, of course, be that they're quite a bit behind point wise. So maybe the uh, determination from Gideon is not. Total. Struck above the waist, that one from seven. Matthias Christiansen. Oh, he took that one, Sukumori, but that was um, definitely seven going silver. wide, so. Small gift from the Indonesians. Fifteen nine. 
very hard to Six be accurate on that cross-court defense from David Dalgo. He's playing it directly into the side drift with the uh, pace and it's awfully hard to control. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't see it here in the picture, but there was a tiny little bit of his towel that was outside <laughs> of the kit box. <laughs> Just as well, we don't let him up into the commentary. Yeah. And he'd be horrified that we're yeah. not neat and tidy. So, so was 10 16. Yeah, good work. Nicely done. Eleven sixteen. Oh, oh dear me. So it's over. Seventeen eleven. Mm. You can see the disappointment and frustration on his face. So we saw what and they were struggling to, uh, to catch up on the Indonesians, and they probably feel that they they're actually just on the verge of catching up, and then some mistakes creep in. Whereas, from 18, our point 12. of view, they're perhaps a little bit uh, longer away from actually catching up because mm. the Indonesians seem quite relaxed. Mm. 19-12. They're on the return of serve. Oh, behind the back. So, so what? There it was. Yeah. 19. Played it well, too. Good flick serve. Couldn't capitalise though. And it's game point opportunities now for the current world number ones. Drifting in. Yeah. Opening game, 21 14 game, to the number Marcus two seeds. Gideon and Kevin Sanjay 21 14. 21 14 yeah. in 13 minutes. Yeah, clearly in. For Marcus Ronaldo Gideon. And Kevin we must get in. We must Det kan godt være ham den ene, vi kan lade ham være, at vi ikke skal provokere ham. Men ham den anden, han skal ikke løbe rundt og spille banan derinde. Så hold den på ham, og så lad ham stå med lorten lidt. 
altså, han begynder også at lave alt muligt. Så hold den på ham, så han skal lave noget. Ik? Så må vi lige holde ham lidt i her og se, om vi kan det. Eller når vi har angrebet, så ned på ham og lige op og tjekke ham lidt på serverne af sted på hans server. Han skal lige, lige rystes lidt. Hvis vi får den ned som bagmand, så vi træner lidt hurtigt ned, så må vi lægge den op på den første, hvis det er. Jamen, det var den, det var den vi gjorde før. Den med at save den bredt. Nej, prøv at høre her. Den med at save bredt på ham, og så smed træerne op. Så kan han stå dernede. Han slår den ikke ned på os. Ikke? Vi, vi, kan ikke bare, vi kan ikke bare løbe rundt og lave, prøve at lave kuglen. Der er ikke noget kuglen af sorte. Provokere ham her, Kevin. Ja, ja. Ikke? Op og vis, at vi er glade for at være her, ikke? Så er bredt og smide træerne op, hvis det er et problem at komme ud af situationen her. Han lægger den ind over midten, så ned til bagmanden, op med den, ned til Kevin. Ham skal vi kunne holde. Okay. Kom så her, drenge. Well, Thomas Stangor, using all of his allotted time. Good one, 20 seconds. Almost a Good motivational one. speech. 20 seconds. Trying to... Um create some um, fire in the eyes on the Danes uh, feels that they're a little bit too nice and game. Oh. the Indonesian off the hook a little bit too Play. easy Trying to stand that ground in the defense was uh, part of the plan. It's a strange serve that one from um, it is, isn't Kevin it? Sukumulio and um, it, he's he somehow makes it it tumble and yeah. s and spin, yeah. but he's not hitting the feathers. He's chopping underneath the yeah. cork of the shuttle. Yeah. That's so a good return. He's actually making a little Three, bit of a seedex serve. He. Uh, famous Malaysian brothers yeah. who invented it in um, was the 80s I think yeah late 80s hitting the feathers which later became illegal you could not hit the feathers as the first point of contact this, I mean I find this exciting that look at that that yeah. it there's yeah. a development here yeah. within the rules to do something different with the shuttle yeah absolutely amazing yeah and the thing is that the, the shuttle tumbles whilst you actually can hit it and then it dives really really fast below the tape Five low. Well, very good start to this second game having already taken the first the indonesian pair so that, that's interesting because i mean that's something that science should be able to uh, say something about how are you to hit so the a shuttle one, to make it five. spin if the first point of contact is the core yeah and you can see five one and, and it's taking no time here in the beginning of the second game so the six one and and, and six, all that uh, pep talk from thomas stango it's sort of, uh, it's like a balloon that has been uh, punctured. So it's over. Two, six. Pity. So it's over. Seven. Well, that's two service errors from the Danes, plus a service fault. Only one service error. Fault receiver, Matthias Christiansen, deemed to have moved before the serve was struck. It would be really interesting to see in uh, slow or frame by frame because there it is. Difficult well, to see, but you have to go frame by frame and it's almost always wrong. Moving before the serve. Yeah. Well, the Danes, to me, are getting a little bit frustrated by this clever serve by Sukumolio. 
That's the second time he's been Game. faulted. Three. Three. Second time above yeah. the waist. Almost as high as the uh, commercial on his um, chest. So it's over. Four. Ten. So it's over. 11 4 in the world. Well, they're really racing through this, the world number one is at the moment. I know we're in the front, so let's just pull it right to the other side. Okay? back from it. Now I'm over the front side, so I'm going to come up and so clap down on him. There. As I said, if it's a hopper, then we'll have to wait on it. Hvis du vil lave det i træk, jeg ved godt, det er... Men han ændrer den hver gang, fordi den her saver net, den gør ikke, og den lige ender heller ikke. Ja. Så må vi hejse den i stedet for. Ja. Gør et eller andet fuldstændig mod, så... Du går halvt skridt tilbage og hejse den på. Was that still motivation, or was there some tactics in that as well? <laughs> uh, there were some things regarding to the serve. They're saying it tumbles, and, and Thomas says... Um, They've discussed the coaches, Jacob Hoy uh, and, and Thomas Stangor, that if it if it tumbles, then wait and just lift it. That one, just lift it, yeah. Because you won't get anything out of, of trying to hit it. a big sigh after that rally from David Dalgo. Yeah, because they, they did a lot of stuff right here, still lost it. Yeah. So it's for Carl. So it's for Carl. Struck Five. above the waist. So it's the service judge. was what Thomas Stangor wanted the Danes to do from the beginning, let uh, Kevin Sukumuria work from the backcourt, because he doesn't hit that hard, but he's really, really fast when he intercepts. He mm. can jump into yeah. the smashes, and you're not really uh, set in the defense and so on. So that's what's really uh, worrying about the two Indonesians' attack. That's the speed of movement and the uh, sort of shock effect in it. Six, 13. Seems like that service from David Dalgo so tumbled a little bit as well. 14, six. Yeah, I, you're right. Maybe, maybe touch the net. I don't know. And I mean, yeah. Now that's exactly what you were talking about. Yeah. You know, when he's reactive at the front of the court, 15, six. He's, he's virtually unbeatable. Yeah. Sukumolio. Again there. Yeah. Oh, you missed that one. But I actually think the shuttles, so we, we know one. that they're fast, but they also Seven, seem extremely 15. lively mm. and, and easy to tumble. And I think that helps him a little bit in, yeah. in his services. So it's uh, not a tough task. Uh, it's a, it is a tough task for the Danes to do Eight, something. 15. And, and they've sort of uh, cruised into this seven point lead here in the second game, the Indonesians. Oh, Excellent. Goodness. 
Yeah, how quick is that coming so forward? Over. 16, 8. The speed of thought. Awareness of where the gap was. <laughs> he is the sort of player, Kevin Sukumoglio. He's opposite everyone else. Everyone else has to practice speciality <laughs> shots. He has to Nine, practice 16. just ordinary, good, straight shots that is just going to get the ball over the shuttle over the net. The speciality shots, they come easily. Yeah, he's anticipating well. Christiansen. Samisova, 17 11. I think he, he, he shouts a little bit while he's smashing uh, Sukumulu to give the impression that it's harder than it really is. <laughs> that smash. Push early, Dalgo. That one really stepped into it. Don't believe it. Oh, don't believe it. What defense from Sulcamolio. So it's over. One, two, three, four. Four extraordinary defensive shots. Let. Matias, Matias, quick, ready. Good, ready, good. Just two points away from the quarter-final once again. Gideon and Sukumolio. Oh, oh, service fault called. Service over. Yeah, I think he raised the shuttle 19. just before he flicked. Yeah. Dalgo, the man about to serve, is the only one who hasn't been faulted in this match so far. So no. far. Play? Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty high as well, his serve. <laughs> 14, 19. bit hard to to, uh, to judge this match because the Danes have fallen behind so quickly in the games so these late charges I mean how much are they actually worth and how much is it just the Indonesians slowing down a little bit kid, kid because they feel quite secure and with four match points I'm sure they do feel quite secure What a great big serve. Twenty-one fourteen, twenty-one sixteen. For the world number ones cruise through the match, match in twenty-nine Marcus minutes. 
and Kevin Sanjay Sugumoljo, 21-14, 21-16. Demonstration really masterclass by Gideon and Sukumolio. 21 14, 21 16, in just under 30 minutes. So that's completed in double quick time for Gideon and Sukumolia over Matthias Christiansen and David Dalgor. 21 14, 21 16. Next up is women's singles and Zhang Bei Wen representing the United States of America now up against the defending champion and the only defending champion left in the tournament now, Akane Yamaguchi of Japan. Well, as far as the women's singles is concerned, I was telling you earlier that the Olympic gold and silver medalists both lost in the first round and both in the bottom half of this draw. Well, we can see from the second round onwards, and Sinan Awal was the player who put out the Olympic gold medalist, Carolina Marin. And Awal, of course, won the title here in 2012. And 